very famous statue in London, very small statue. Can you see him? His name is Eros. Can you see the little statue? And he's got a bow and an arrow in his hands. Yes. This area here is called Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus. Did you see that? There, oh. No, no, don't be that you're here. I think somebody. It has a lot of big capacitors. Yeah. Now, oh, we've got a big, big bookshop coming up on the left. It's called. Yeah, it's a water shop. And? Yeah. Does anyone like Harry Potter? No. no. Yes, yeah, that was a bit of a silly question, wasn't it? Uh, well, when the Harry Potter books were released, it's they used to, or published, they used to open up that bookshop at midnight. And there used to be 3,000 mothers and fathers with their children waiting to get their first, their hands on the first Harry Mansion. Potter books at midnight. Oops. Does the Queen like chocolate? Yes, get her chocolates from the food wow. shop coming up on the left. It's called Fortnum and Mason. On the left, and there's a well. clock up there on the second floor. See the clock up there? Yeah. On the on the hour, the boxes around the clock open up. Mr. Mason comes out the left-hand box with a pot of tea on a tray, and Mr. Fortman comes out the right-hand box with some candles in his hand. They bow to each other and they go back to the boxes. So you can YouTube that tonight. Fortman and Mason clock. Now, has anyone ever heard of a King Corns' Palace? So, uh, well, there's a bus here. Sit that down, sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Look, sit down, sit down, properly. So, yeah. what I want you to do is... We will see the train. We will see the train. Look quick, look quick. Look left here. Yeah. Can you see the tree at the end? Wow. The palace yeah. right down the end of the road there, the Brown Palace. Grand Palace. That's where Henry VIII used to live. St. James's Palace. St. James Palace. Now, has anyone played Monopoly yet? Anyone played a ride there? Whole there is called Maybe. And this is a very famous hotel called the Ritz Hotel on the left. Now, how much would you expect to pay for a cup of tea in London? <laughs> Any idea? What do you think? Cup of tea? What do you think? Yeah. It's expensive. Not five pounds, six pounds. You go to good places at the back. Yeah, we have tea here in the Ritz. Fifty-five pounds. Oh you my God! <laughs> so you do get more than a cup it's of tea. You get some sandwiches and some cakes. Anyone Ritz like Hotel. Yeah, you like cakes? Yeah. But you have to drink your tea in a special way. Shall I teach you how to drink tea at the Ritz? Mm. Look, look over here. This little finger here is called a pinky. Pinky. And this has to end up oh pointing up towards the sky at the end. <laughs> so should we all drink our afternoon tea at the Ritz on a count of three? One, two, three. Pinky. That's how you drink afternoon tea. Look, 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 how they go in this park. Hey. Look, we've got a park on the left. Yeah. It's called the Green Park. Anyone give me two reasons why it's called the Green Park, yes? Green Park. Because it's all green. Because it's green, and the other one is? It's all green. It's a park. Well done. It should be called the Yellow Park at the moment, because it hasn't rained for about nine oh weeks, but goodness. that's the Green Park. Now look, uh, there is a, a garden, very unusual garden coming up on the right, and it goes up into the sky, and we call it a living wall, and it's got boxes where birds can nest. Now can you see it coming up on the right here? You see the garden that goes upwards into the sky, see it on the right? Now I'm going to show you a big house and it's got a fantastic address. The address of the house is Number One London. Wow. So when this house was built, there were no houses ahead of us. Wow. It was all fields and forests. 
Uh, this was in the year 1792. So 1792, long time ago. wow. And when you came into London, guess what? You had to pay a penny to get into London right by this house. So it's a big yellow house with a flag, and you'll see it in a minute on the right hand side. Look, who is that you? The Bumper Command Air Force. So, can you see the flag? Yellow house? That's number one London. Wow. A famous man used to live in that house called the Duke of Wellington. Hey, money. One penny. One penny to get into London, yes. <laughs> one penny. Now, um, does anyone like angels? Who likes Karim, angels? Are you listening? Or horses? Uh, Can you see any horses and an and angel anywhere? Look for horses and an angel. Look, look, look. Where? Yes. Yes. That oh, this is the a one. famous battle called the Battle of Milton Road. Yeah. You see the horse nearest to us? It's so big it opens up. And once a year in September on open day you can book to go up there and have wow. afternoon tea for two in the back side of the horse. Yes, the Queen's Garden. This is Buckingham Palace. Mm. It's very large, 775 rooms. Wow. Now, how many bathrooms do you have in your flat? I will see. I have one. Does anyone have two? Anyone have three? Yes. So, guess how many bathrooms the Queen's got in Buckingham Palace? Nearly 78 bathrooms. 78, 78 bathrooms. Should we play a green hole? No. No, no hands up. And you're absolutely right. She doesn't swim in the swimming pool. Because how old is the queen? 99. 99. She's in her 90s, 96 years old. Yes. <laughs> Do you think she keeps any horses at the back 96 of the house? On. Yes. yes. 40 horses, so I'm going to show you the stables. We call this the Royal Mews. In fact, this is where people who work in Buckingham Palace live, at the back here. So, there are some round windows coming up on the left, and this is where the horses have their stables. That's where her horses live. Wow. See? We will see. That's where the horses are. That's where the look, carriages look the windows are as well, through there. Hey, the windows. We cannot now see let's them. have a look up to the big rooms of Buckingham Palace. There's a flag on top as well. So yeah. look to the left here. What we call the state rooms up there to the left. And the flag on top. That's, oh my now God. what does the flag tell us? Does anyone know? The flag tells us whether the Queen is in or not. So they fly two separate flags, the Union flag, uh, if that's flying she's not in, and if her personal flag is flying she's in. But she's actually on holiday at the moment, up in Scott Cathedral, big church coming up. And see if you can spot Susan on ground level. At the front, can you see Susan now? Straight all the Queen's 46 corgis. So can you see the corgi down to the right here? Susan, wow. there she is. Yeah, down there. Black. Everyone see it? Oh, there, there. You see the dog there? Yeah. Yeah. So, who's got... What does Tower Bridge do? The other bridge is snow. Victoria. Yeah. Ah, that's one. So, one of the best girls' schools in London ahead of us. It's called the Great Coat Hospital. And all the girls that go to this school wear very smart grey jackets and grey skirts. That's where the politicians send their daughters to that school. Now smell the food. Can you smell the food? Here's the lamb. Express coffee. See that down there? Where Morocco people are getting their food. lunch. <laughs> oh my goodness. See the lips going up? Do you see that? Outside the elevator, the Karim. There, 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 there. Here, this Karim. This is the old headquarters of Channel 4 oh. Television. Let's see them working. So this is Aram. it, the building coming up on the left. So let's 
experience was anyone working. No, nobody working in that part. Well, that was part. No, no one there. Oh, one person. There, one person. No, no. One person in the home office. <laughs> they are renovating. <laughs> We're uh, about eight floors. Well, it's just six floors. Eight floors above ground and eight floors down underneath the basement. Now, can you see the pineapples, children? Yes. Yeah. Where are they? Can you see them on the posts of the bridges? Oh, we will go to the bridge now. Yeah, pineapples, well done. The man who brought the pineapple to Britain from the West Look, the Indies bridge, is buried so, in a church on the other side of the bridge. Yay! It's the, the River Thames, the Harry Potter Bridge. Look left, everybody. The river. The, oh, the Ferris Way. Can you go the big The big Ferris Way. So, when that was built, it was the tallest wheel in the world. Wow. And can anyone spot Big Ben yet? Anyone spot Big Ben? Yes, well done. Where is it? There. No, that's the London Eye. Yes, well, we will go right near to Big Ben because we're going to go over that green bridge there. But uh, you see that yellow building where Big Ben is, that whole yellow building, that's what we call the Houses of Parliament. Yeah, the clock over there. The clock. Did you see it? Can anyone see the tallest building in London? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, look ahead of you, slightly to the left. There, like Burj Khalifa. I like Burj Khalifa, yeah. And I can also see the cheese grater and the gherkin and the walkie-talkie. To the left. All those buildings up there. Look, the Paris Way. Look, look, look. Now, can you see the pineapples again? Straight ahead, top of the bridge. And you see the little church yeah, this down is the there big where the pineapple. two buses are. That's Here where the man is buried. The big pineapple. The pineapple to he was a gardener to one of our this kids. This is the big pineapple. Did you see it? This is the one. Here, here. Yeah. Look, children, another palace. Can you see the big red brick palace on the left? Yes. And another pineapple. Yeah. Another pineapple. Well done. Yes. This is Lambeth Palace. This is 600 years old. Wow. Built during the reign of that king we talked about before, Henry VIII. Yay, now one man there. lives in this palace, and he's the man that puts the crown on the king or queen's head in Westminster Abbey and makes them a king or queen. We call that a coronation. And the man who lives here is called the Archbishop of Canterbury. And he's in charge of lots of churches. Now, do you want to be nosy? Because the Archbishop's given us permission to look into his back garden. We're going to peek over the fence. Don't let him see you looking. But look to the right here. That's the Archbishop's garden. Very, very beautiful there. I haven't done this for a few years, but they used to have a zip wire in the gardens of Lambeth. There's a modern part of the hospital. Oh Can you see God. the orange part just through there to left? That's a children's Morgan's hospital. Scandal. And that's called the Evelina. Evelina. Now, do any of you like superheroes? Yes! No. Yeah, so put your hands up. Who likes Superman? Superman. Yeah, he's a bit old hat, Superman. He's not mine. <laughs> I know. Anyone like Batman? Batman? And who likes Spider-Man? Me. <laughs> well, when the window cleaners clean the windows of the children's hall, they always dress up as Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man to uh, cheer up the sick children. In the Come on, That's the children's hospital, just behind that orange bar. What? A window cleaner is when they clean the windows of the children's hospital, they just... So that's how um, Batman and Superman came to Abu Dhabi. Right? <laughs> oh, now, there's a museum in the hospital just down to Lemgale. Is that of her? Did you see the tent? She's known as the yeah. Lady with the Lamp. I'll show you what she looked like a bit later on. But this is where she 
taught all the nurses. Do you know what she taught them to do? And it's quite good. Yeah. Yeah. Look in front, in front, ahead. Oh yes, I forgot about that one. A white line, that's very unusual. That's 200 years old, that line. Whenever they build a statue, children, they usually put a time capsule inside it, which tells you what happened. Big Ben, straight ahead of us. And then to this is the lion, here is the London Eye the lion. on the right. This is the big there. lion. Here the lion. Yeah. But if you go on it, once round London every 30 minutes. Can you see Shrek back there on the right? See the picture of Shrek? Well, there's a theme park down there called Shrek's Adventures. Yeah. And there's also an aquarium where you can go and we see penguins, we uh, sharks and dogs. So we will go to the other bridge. Clack. You see the clack? Now here's Big Ben in the house the big of The big clack. It's so amazing. So what is Big Ben? Is it the clock tower? Clock tower. Is it the clock? Or is it the bell? Bell. Yes it is. You're absolutely right. The, the bell clock. that this is the chimes palace. on your house. What colour are the hands of Big Ben? What do you think? Blue. Really Blue. well done. I always thought they were black, but that was all the soot and the grime. When they cleaned them, that was the colour. Prussian blue. You see, there's been covers over Big Ben for the last five years. That's why it looks so clean and tidy up there. They painted all See? the gold up the oh top. Oh my god. Replaced all the panes of glass and given it back its original coloured hands. Can you see the big window on the left? Parliament. See the big window? That's where Guy Fawkes was storing the gunpowder during the gunpowder plot on November the 5th, 1605. This is why we let off fireworks in our gardens and in our parks on November the 5th to remember Guy Fawkes stood the Abbey oh God, and that is where the kings and queens go to have the crown put on their head the coronation and uh, it's also where royal weddings take place so has anyone heard of Prince William? Who?